Okay, so what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to adjust the suspension for the rider. We need to add air to the fork. There's a little cap here. This is a Fox uh, 36 fork, okay. Underneath this cap is a valve. We need to use a high pressure pump. Uh, Reese and Mueller uh, oftentimes provides a pump uh, with their bike. Although here in the shop, I have a nice uh, digital pump uh, that I really enjoy using, and that's what I'm gonna use today. Um, there's different ways to get the proper air pressure. It's very important that the proper pressure is in the fork uh, based on the rider weight. Oftentimes there's a chart on the back side of the leg, maybe on this one, or sometimes down below on the opposite side of the leg, and that is a good place to start. Uh, there's also plenty of resources online, uh, but again, there's oftentimes a chart and you would match the PSI uh, accordingly to the rider. Okay, so also on the fork, on the underside um, of the leg, we have rebound adjustment, okay? Uh, and you can adjust this. Uh, you can see on this one, we've got a, a minus and a plus button. We can either increase or decrease the amount of rebound. Here is a protective cap that you would need to unthread first, okay? And if you can see, it's exposed this red knob. Uh, again, we do have a chart here with air pressures and then based on the rider weight, uh, we have some recommendations on where to set uh, from the fully closed position, how many clicks to set. Uh, the rebound dampening. This certainly can be rider preference. Um, the chart is a recommendation, a good place to get started, and then you can make small adjustments from there. Okay, we're going to attach the pump to the fork. Okay, it's important that you do use a high pressure pump. You certainly don't want to use an air compressor and you don't want to use a pump that you use on your tires. You have to use a suspension specific pump in order to get the accurate amount of air in here. Not only to get the air in, but so that you don't lose any as well. All right. So now that we've got it on there and nice and tight, I've got a reading on my digital. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit to this based on my chart and my rider. So you can add the desired PSI, and this is important so that you get proper function out of the suspension and so that you don't damage any of the components. And how often should you do this? You should check this uh, fairly often. You don't have to check it as often as you check your tire pressure, uh, but I would say every few weeks you should, uh, you should put a pump on there and just make sure that it's holding the uh, adequate, adequate pressure uh, that you desire. This way you won't, uh, you don't want to damage any components by having uh, too little air in the, in the component itself. All right, I'm just going to disconnect it. We're good to go and I'm going to replace the cap. Also another feature here, uh, this is your compression dampening. We can see on this particular uh, Fox fork, there's an open and there's a firm. If we have the dial open, it means we're going to get all the compression. We can uh, slightly firm it up, firm it up. There is a little word with an arrow that says firm. We can actually push it all the way over and we can firm that fork up so we have very little if no movement at all. Okay, Again, when would you use that? You would use that perhaps if you were climbing a hill or you were on the road and you were getting a little bobbing perhaps from the fork and you'd like to firm it up. Um, but if you're in off-road terrain where it's bumpy, uh, you would certainly want to most likely leave it in the open position uh, most of the time. Once again, how often should you do this? You should check this every couple, two or three weeks, I think probably is best. Uh, again, you don't have to check it as often as your tire pressure, uh, but you shouldn't let too much time go by. Uh, so we don't ever want to do any damage to the suspension components by having too little air. And to get best performance, uh, having that air pressure checked regularly is a good thing. Okay, we also have, uh, now that we put the air in, we have a couple other uh, settings that we can adjust. The red knob here is a rebound, just like we had on our front uh, suspension fork. Uh, so based on rider preference and weight, we can adjust the, the amount of speed on the rebound. Uh, but what's really neat about this uh, particular Fox 
shock is we have three different positions. We have a fully open, soft position, we have a medium, and then we can actually flip the lever over to firm. Uh, this might be something where you're riding on a road, a dirt road or something, and you don't want the uh, rear suspension active and you'd like to firm it up for a better feel. Um, but you might like something in between, which is this medium mode, or on rough terrain, we would leave it in the fully open position. Can you give an example of that? Yeah, and an example of that would be in the open position, things are moving. If I flip it all the way to the firm mode, and you see that it doesn't move. So it firms things up and can change the quality and the ride feel. And again, that would be something that's rider preference.